The objective within this lesson is to solve word problems using tape diagrams and fraction-by-fraction -fraction multiplication. Let's draw a tape diagram to represent our problem. So she had 60 and she sold two-thirds of the cookies. That's what she sold, two-thirds. Of the remaining, so three units equals sixty. One unit equals twenty then, and two units equaled forty. So they sold forty. Remaining was 20, which I'm dividing into four parts because it says she gave three quarters of the remaining cookies to the student at the sale. So she gave away 5, 10, 15. Twenty divided by four equals five. And so what she has left is she has five cookies left. This should have been our question mark there. Let's draw a tape diagram to help us with this problem. All of it is 30. Let's divide it into fifths because we have mint icing. Of the remaining, half the remaining, get chocolate. Half of the remaining is chocolate. This is what we do for our tape diagram. Chocolate, vanilla. So we have 30, 30 to begin with, and then so one-fifth get mint. What's one-fifth of 30? One-fifth of 30 is 6. And then so we have the remaining. The remaining is 24, because that's 30 minus 6. And then we get half of 24. So the remaining cupcakes is 24, and each of those is worth 12, because we talked about half of them. The Booster Club sells 240 cheeseburgers. One quarter of the cheeseburger had pickles, one half of the remaining burgers had onions, and the rest had tomato. How many cheeseburgers had tomato? Draw our initial tape diagram. How many total cheeseburgers are there? 240. And of those, one quarter had pickles. Let's divide it into fourths. And a quarter of them had pickles. Of the remaining, hence the arrow and the rest of another tape diagram. 
one half of the remaining. Had onions. And the rest had tomatoes. Start with the pickles. One quarter of them had pickles, or one quarter of 240. What's left and remaining? 240 minus, one, 240 minus 60 is 180. So there's 180 remaining. And of those 180, half of 180 is 90 for the onions and 90 for tomatoes. Write out the number sentence as well. Deshaun is sorting his rock collection. Two-thirds of the rocks are metamorphic, and three-quarters of the remainder are igneous rocks. If the three rocks left over are sedimentary, how many rocks does Deshaun have? Let's draw a tape diagram to represent the problem. So he has his rock collection, and he's ready sorting it out, and he says that two-thirds of his rock collection are metamorphic. Let's abbreviate that. Metamorphic. And three quarters of the remainder are igneous. So of the remainder, that's why we're making another tape diagram, three quarters of them are igneous. If the three rocks left over are sedimentary, how many rocks does Jashan have? And so that's our question mark, is our hole. So, we start off with the sedimentary rocks. Three of them are sedimentary. Then, all these other ones, one each of the units is three. That means the whole thing there is 12. That's 12. Then the metamorphic rocks is 24. And the total amount of rocks that he has is 12 times 3, which equals 36 rocks. Milan puts one quarter of her lawn mowing money in savings and uses half of the remaining money to pay back her sister. If she has $15 left, how much does she have at first? Let's draw a tape diagram to represent the problem. So I'll start off with quarters and a quarter of the money into savings. Half of the remaining, so another bar, divide that bar into half. This bar equals this length. Half of the remaining to pay back her sister. She has $15 left. So the sister and she has $15 left. So if she has $15 left, then that means to her sister is also $15. And then this amount here is 30 then. 15 plus 15. If 30 for 3 units, then each of these units is worth 10. And that means at first, that's our question mark. She would have four times ten dollars, or forty dollars. So we work backwards and we use the tape diagram to help us solve that problem.